Hey guys! I know that a lot of you were concerned in my last video because I wasn't wearing my glasses and I know I said that if I don't wear my glasses I'm gonna get a lazy eye. But sometimes you just gotta live on the edge, okay? Sometimes you fucking don't wanna wear your glasses. Sometimes your glasses don't match your beanie. Shit happens and honestly, if I get a lazy eye, I hope you guys will still love me. But like, totally understand if you won't. Anyway, in my Psycho Lady Slept Over My House story time, I mentioned very briefly in like one sentence that I was banned from Uber and you guys literally lost your shit. It was somewhere, you lost it, you found it, you put it on your tits, you cut your tits off, okay? Everyone went a little bit crazy. I didn't mention that I got banned from Uber in like hopes that you guys wanted to hear a story time on it. I honestly was never gonna do a story time on this, but you guys wanted to hear it, so here it fucking is. The reason why I didn't want to make a story on this is because honestly, the real answer as to why I'm banned from Uber is... Uh, I don't know. I genuinely do not know. Now, I'm gonna tell you events that more than likely are the reason I'm banned from Uber, but I never got like an official breakup letter from Uber. Uber just fucking cut me off like every guy I've ever dated. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you the events that led up to me no longer being able to log into an Uber account. Here we go. Number one, a fucking Viner hacked into my account. I'm so over this shit. I was in New York with a bunch of Viners, and at that time, Uber had just come out. Like, Lyft wasn't out yet, and or maybe it was, but nobody cared. Since it was snowing in New York City, I was like, okay, I've heard about this app called Uber. Let me call us a car, because I don't feel like waiting outside in the snow for a cab. So I did just that. I set up an Uber account. There was, like, four Viners there, and I was the one that took the initiative and was like, I will call the Uber. I think my phone died or something of that sort, because I had to use this guy's phone, who was a Viner and was there, to log into Uber. Now, I didn't realize that you guys were such amazing detectives, but just like don't try to figure out who did this, okay? You guys figured out who the psycho lady was and honestly like that's scary because she saw it and she made vines about it and she scares me. No, this was not any guy viner that I've talked about or dated. This was just a guy who was in the group that we were hanging out with. So anyway, I log in through his phone and everything was fine. I was like, okay, cool. And I fly back to Miami. I never had to use Uber in Miami because obviously, I mean, I have a car. And so I just didn't use the Uber app for a while and then weird shit started happening. Basically, I would start getting notifications every time this guy who had taken my phone, it would say his name and it said, this person just ordered a car. But I brushed it off and I thought maybe that when I logged in through his phone that like our accounts got like synced. I don't know what the fuck reasoning I had, but I didn't need Uber so I didn't care. One day I was looking through my emails and I noticed that there was an email from Uber and it was basically confirming a password change. Someone had to go into my email account hack into my email account, confirm that the password was changed in order for the password to be fucking changed. And mind you, about a month before this happened, my Vine account had been hacked into. Someone had hacked into my laptop, hacked into my email. It was just this mess. And all of a sudden, it all started coming together and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? So basically, I tried logging into my Uber account at that point and I couldn't log in anymore. It wouldn't let me. Honestly, like, I know this may sound stupid, but I didn't put two and two together. It would say blank, your car is here or whatever Uber says. And I honestly, Honestly, I mean, I guess I'm just an idiot. I didn't realize that that person's name was linked to the guy in New York, the Viner. I don't know why I didn't link those two, but I didn't. I just thought somebody was just hacking into my Uber account for shits and giggles, and then they were gonna try to make me pay for their ride. The weird part is, this person not only changed the name, and the phone number, and the email, and everything about that Uber account information, they also changed the bank card information, so I wasn't even paying for the rides. They just wanted that account to be theirs. Anyway, long story short, with that, I wasn't able to log into my Uber account. I emailed Uber's customer service because guess what? Uber doesn't have a number to call. I don't know if they do now, but when this incident was occurring, they had no customer service number. The only way you can reach Uber was by fucking email. Might as well just write them a letter with some quill and some paper and stick it on my ass. Anyway, so I emailed Uber's customer service and they never helped me. After customer service told me that they couldn't help me, I got into like full creep mode. I was like, who is this person doing this to me? And then I started looking at the name and saying, who do I know with that? name because it's not a common name and all of a sudden it hit me like a ton of bricks like a ton of your ugly hats oh my god it's the fucking guy from New York and I straight up texted him and I was like what the fuck do you think you're doing with my uber account and he's like oh um sorry I just didn't have an uber account and you were signed into my account and then it wouldn't let me go on and it was just this complicated thing and so I had to change the password I was like okay but there's one problem about that it's that in order to change my password you had to hack into my email and he was literally just like oh <laughs> bitch I'm sorry <laughs> did I just say something funny it was just really annoying 
knowing the way that he dealt with it. Honestly, I don't think he's a bad guy, but really, like, I hate him. I acted like it was all fine because in the Vine world, it's, like, awkward if you have, like, beef with one person. Then everyone just starts fucking getting into it. So I was like, it's not worth it. Honestly, I'll just get a Lyft account. The problem was that when I got Lyft, it was, like, kind of not just starting, but it was just starting to get huge. And so there wasn't as many drivers, and there were certain little quirks about it that, like, I just wasn't into, honestly. And in a lot of airports, Lyft doesn't go there, but Uber will. Like, it just, it's weird. So I remember... I remember I was checking because I don't know why it had been like a year and I was like Maybe I should just try logging on to uber see if it fucking works So I'm at the airport just wanting to get a ride wanting to get to the hotel and I'm like, let me just try uber Why not? I know I can't get in it, but maybe I can I'm always weird like that like I know something's not gonna work out, but I'm like eh Maybe. So I re-downloaded Uber, I log in, and it fucking worked, okay? I got to log in. I don't know if it was a certain amount of time that it just, like, got lifted, whatever. It's none of my business. I didn't grab my shoes or nothing, Jesus, okay? I ordered that Uber. That joke's just about five years late, Jess. I ordered the Uber. It was with Viners, but I don't want to tell you where I was because I believe that if I tell you where I was at that time, you can pinpoint who the Viners were that were with me, and maybe you'll pinpoint who this story was about. And honestly, you guys are amazing investigators, and I'm trying to give you some vague details, okay? I was stoked that I had an Uber account again, even though I had been using Lyft, but like I said, it just wasn't as good as Uber was at that time. Honestly, Lyft now is perfect. I love it. I use it all the time. I mean, I have no choice, but whatever. I was excited to have an Uber account. At that point, we were all super drunk, okay? And it was three of us. I was with three other people, so including me, four. So I ordered a regular small Uber, and I was drunk, but like the people I was with were like drunk. It's like a gamble, especially when you're with your girlfriends and everyone's just fucked up. Like, you don't know if someone's gonna puke in a Back. Like honestly nobody knows. I always understood that uber will charge you a $200 fee if anyone vomits in the car because it has to cover cleaning costs and like annoying ass bitch fuck Why'd you do that cost? So I was hoping that they wouldn't do it But I was like, I mean if it happens it happens like one of them was like not in great shape Okay, everyone was worried about her and you just know like which friend would be one that would like open the window before they vomit And which one's just like literally gonna vomit all over her titties. It really wasn't a long drive It was probably a five to seven minute ride to the hotel and I was just like, okay, like take a gamble we just gotta go. We gotta get her home. Everyone's fucked up. I wanna go to sleep. The bitch throws up in a car. What's more annoying than that? I cannot stand vomit. I cannot stand when people vomit in cars, and I cannot stand when it's my fucking Uber ride that you vomit on. And remember, my account had just been restored, or maybe it hadn't just been restored, or I don't know what the fuck happened, but I had just started using it again. It was like one ride to the hotel, one ride to the bar, and this was my third ride with them. I was just praying that the driver did not notice, but then all of a sudden, like that smell. <sighs> that smell. Vomit is just this beautiful thing where it's like, you don't have to see, you don't have to hear, you know when it's there. And about like two minutes after she threw up, like he just started looking back and like kept saying like, is everyone okay back there? We lied to him. We were like, yeah, yeah, no, everything's fine. Cause it was like a quick, like, Bleh. like it was, <laughs> it was not a fucking projectile vomit Emily Rose status. Okay. It was just like a little, Bleh. I mean, it wasn't like tiny, like little acid reflux. Like, I mean, okay. She fucking threw up. Okay. There's no going around that. We get back to the hotel and honestly, like I was thrilled. I was like, oh my God, we dodged a bullet. Thank God. The driver didn't confront us with anything. I paid the Uber. I was like, okay, like everything's fine. Next day, I logged onto my Uber account and guess what? I don't have one. Normally when you get on the Uber app, it doesn't make you log in again. It just remembers your information. You're kind of always logged on. But I was logged out and I was like, Oh shit. I knew that that wasn't normal for me to be logged out and honestly, I, I just like, I knew. I tried to log in and it says the same thing it said when the guy had hacked my account, which is basically like, oh, this number is already in use with another account, but it's not. It's just like this confusing ass message that just makes no fucking sense. And basically, I haven't been able to use Uber since. I don't know if it was like a glitch that let me back in the system, that let me get my car rides. I don't know if it's because that bitch puked on her fucking titties in the car. I don't know what it was, okay? I'm guessing the only way that I can get back on Uber is if I change my number, but I'm like, ugh, I'm so not down for that. Lyft is perfect. Lyft is great. Lyft has been good to me. Lyft is my baby. And honestly, like, I'm totally fine with it because Uber drivers are fucking weird. No offense if you're an Uber driver, but... You're probably fucking weird. No, seriously, I've had Uber drivers just do weird things. A lot of them were like really rude. I've heard that a lot of ex-cab drivers turn into Uber drivers, which explains a lot. I had this one guy like hit on me and then try to sell me a house at the same time. Like I'm, uh, I was done with Uber anyway. But yeah, that's why I'm banned from Uber. I mean, it's not, I mean, I don't know. What you guys heard is all I know. So your guess is as fucking good as mine. It's super annoying when I'm in like an airport or like a place where Ubers would be much more convenient to get. But honestly, like I'll live. First world problems. Anyway, 
so that's it. <clears throat> anyway, I don't think this is the most entertaining story or explanation in the world, but you guys really wanted it, so there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. As always, my social media links are below if you want to chat with me or, you know, make me feel important. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on Saturday. Bye! Our relationship was good. Was it, like, amazing? If it was, like, amazing, wouldn't we still be together? <laughs> sure.